All right, guys, what's going on? Welcome in. So we have some breaking Jets news that just came out from uh, Ian Rappaport of the NFL Network. This is what I like to see. This is what gets me fired up, right? When the New York Jets, when Joe Douglas specifically is proactive in his approach, proactive as the general manager of the New York Jets, um, you know, it's been unfortunate seeing AVT go down with an injury. And, you know, obviously this morning that the team is looking for potential uh, or looking at a potential trade for McCole Hardman. Uh, but in any case, Lyle Collins just worked out with the New York Jets. I absolutely love this move. Now, it should be noted that after the Jets workout, he is going directly to the New York Giants for a workout with them. So it's not like he's signing a deal or a deal is imminent. Maybe something comes out tonight at some point or tomorrow or something but again this is what I like to see here it's not like the Jets are pressed up against the cap where they have like one to two million bucks to spend no we have plenty we have plenty of cash to give to Lyle Collins this is a guy who obviously has, has been a longtime member of the Dallas Cowboys he has experience at guard and right tackle but specifically more so at right tackle last season was with the Cincinnati Bengals and was kind of the odd man out because the team wanted to upgrade at left tackle with Orlando Brown, obviously one of the best tackles in football. So they went out, they gave him a mega deal. And then at right tackle, it was a competition between Lyle Collins, obviously, and former first round pick Jonah Williams. And it was tough because Collins was coming back from the ACL. And, uh, you know, it doesn't really seem like Williams is going to be there long term. So it was kind of like, you know, I, I was talking to Bengals fans kind of throughout that uh, time period. Some wanted Collins to start uh, or, you know, be the guy. Some wanted Williams. And uh, because Collins was, you know, still coming back from the injury, it was it was kind of given to Williams. So uh, we'll see what happens. But again, this is what I like to see here. Uh, we don't really know what the future holds with the offensive line and whatnot. But I will say if the Jets bring in Lyle Collins and he's 100% healthy, ready to go, and he, you know, not necessarily saying he's plug and play, we're going to see him next week. But man if he's in the starting lineup by week eight i want to say i am uh i'm gonna be pretty fired up i'm gonna be pretty fired up so anyway let me know your thoughts down below in the comment section thanks so much for watching i really really appreciate it and as always go jets